right over there. That is actually where's the funny footpath, and that section is called the Goose Creek River. Today is the day that we make it back to the Pontiac vibe. <laughs> My body is about to sign out. <laughs> Alright everyone, new vlog! What are we doing in today's video with me currently wearing my backpack? Well, we are actually backpacking Cape Chignecto. Cape Chignecto is actually located down in Nova Scotia. It's been a nearby of New Brunswick, it's whenever we cross the border. Then it's like, you know where's the Bay of Fundy? It's all the way inside of the Bay of Fundy. And then there's this super duper epic coastline that sticks out, which is called Cape Chignecto. And it's been absolutely beautiful. I have yet to talk, but I did a tent overnight out of Eatonville, I think that's what it's called. Anywho, the whole trail section there wasn't so, so much really interesting. However, we have arrived at the good part, which means we obviously have to start to talk. <laughs> However, before the video starts, leave a thumbs up, turn on the post notification bell, and obviously subscribe, and let's hop right into these beautiful sceneries, everyone.
the last stretch right before Red Rock, right after Millbrook Camping, I think that's what it's called. My body is about to sign out. <laughs> it's done. It is signing off in a couple of seconds, everyone. Might be a little bit tough to tell, but right over there, that is actually where's the funny footpath, and that section is called the Goose Creek River, and that's the section that you actually have to cross on low tide, but that's actually kind of cool that you can see the whole funny footpath from Cape Chignecto. All right, everyone. So that was pretty much it for the Cape Chignecto vlog. Now, I did end up doing it in three days. However, in the video editing, it may look like I did it in a single day, but honestly, I was just editing the video clips and I was just like, this is too beautiful to cut it off and make myself talk. But I don't know. Honestly, those cinematics pretty much sums up how Cape Chignecto looks like. Absolutely spectacular. However, oh. Hi, Rexy. This is my cat, everyone. She's pretty adorable. Anyway, on the first night, I went and did some uh, overnight camping at Ethanville. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then afterwards, on the second day, I stayed overnight at Refugee Cove. Honestly, boat camp sites were pretty beautiful. I didn't have any complaint other than kind of sucked that you have to reserve, but gotta do what you gotta do, unfortunately. However, though, everything else, absolutely spectacular. I don't have much else to say other than I hope you enjoyed the beautiful cinematics. Yeah,